Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alicia and today we are doing a really exciting video. It is time for our new releases for August kits, for the budget kits, along with some new things that we're finally bringing to the shop. So let's go ahead and get started. I will have timestamps below. Um, and they're going to be in the description box along with like that little arrow button that's down here somewhere for you to click on the different chapters of the video if you wanted to skip ahead. But meanwhile, let's go ahead and start with what we usually do, which is going to be for the August budget kits. This video will be a little bit more chatty than normally, so just a heads up for you guys. But let's go ahead and get started with design one for August, which is this beautiful ice cream design. It is so cute. As always, we have the thin washi add-on and also the thick washi if you need it more of either. And this is going to be for the naming convention is a budget kit. So BK823 for August 2023, design one. Then as usually we have our budget kits. This is the budget kit version one. It comes with the monthly budgets. We have the one thick washi, the one thin washi, and then we have the whole entire layout. Let me show you guys what it looks like laid down. I do have videos setting up each spread with you guys if you guys want to know how more details of how I lay out each one. So this is essentially what the August budget looks like laid down and we have some, well I don't have the deco laid down but we have our income. I use this top section for my cash envelopes or my electronic cash envelopes since I am normally cashless. For the month of June, I am doing like a hybrid of my cash envelopes and then the rest of the categories are all electronic. But besides that section, I have a section where I always put like the sinking funds or what I'm putting to savings. Down here, I have a split up with all of my bills. We have so many bills. So I have all of my fixed bills and all of my variable bills. But that is the first sheet. And this is what the design looks like, which is so cute. Like I absolutely love of this ice cream i thought it was so augusty this is the first design laid down this is the version one which is all six pages this is what i use when i budget every month so we have the august budget we have the weekly check-in the weekly balance this is a sheet i use to balance out my checking account since i am cashless i always have to balance out my checking account to make sure the money in there is accurate then i have my savings tracker my sinking funds and my transaction log and then my variable income I do have another version, so this is version 1 with the six sheets and this is what I use, but I do have a version 2 as well that instead of the August budget, it comes with the paycheck 1 and paycheck 2 instead, so it's 7 pages. And this one, the paycheck 1 and paycheck 2 is literally the same exact thing as this, except the script is different. It'll say paycheck 1, paycheck 2 versus August budget. But this is what version 2 looks like. And of course, all of these sheets are also available a la carte as well if, if you want to make your own kit bundle. But that is design 1. Now let's go ahead and go to design 2, which is this beautiful floral color. And of course, you guys see the thin washi is this beautiful emerald green color. I thought that both of these look so different but so gorgeous for the month of August. So and this is design two. We have the thick and the thin washi, so you guys see it up close. We have some more beautiful muted colors for the thick washi, and then we have that green color. So both of them are very different. One is a little bit more bright and summery, and one is a little bit more muted. So that is the thick and thin washi. Then we have our budget kit version one with the six pages, the August budget. And this laid down looks like this, which is so pretty. This green is my husband's favorite color too, but anyway, so we have the August budget, then we have the weekly check-in, the weekly balance, sinking funds and transaction log, savings tracker, and the variable income. And that is bundle one, and of course, we also have the bundle version 2, which is all the 7 pages with the paycheck 1 and paycheck 2. And as usually, they're all available a la carte too, but this is what the version 2 looks like. And let me show you guys them side by side. So this is 
version two and this is version one with the ice cream prints oh my gosh they're so cute i usually always have an idea of which one i want to use but this time around i really don't and this green is also different from the may one just to show you guys because for may it was like a grassy green color i don't know if you guys can see it it's, it was like more of like a lime grass color and then this one is definitely more of a emerald green but this is what the August designs look like. Alrighty, so now let's go ahead and move on to the monthly kits. So we have design one, and this is what the August looks like. It's like the ice cream print. We have all of the scripts here. It's so cute. And then of course the, the date dots. I wanted to go with the blue. I thought this looked so cute together. And then these are the colorways and the add-ons. So we have the Bildus, there's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 Bildus on here. So we have a spot at the top to mark, to write down what it is and then how much that bill cost. And then we have our non spend stickers, we have color 1, color 2, color 3, and color 4. And this, I realized I didn't really have orangey colors, but this is more like an orange yellow, but I thought it would complement this colorway very well. And then this is the whole entire bundle. There's two bundle options available. So we have the bundle all, which is everything here. And then we have the bundle without the dashboard. So just no dashboard. And then also everything is also available a la carte too, if you wanted to mix and match. So that is design one for the monthly. And this is for the Erin Condren size, but I do have the plum paper size available too. And of course the format looks very different since the plum paper layout is different. So that is going to be in the listing image. I always forget to mention about the plum paper. I also wanted to show you guys that I use an Erin Condren for my monthly budget planner. But when I put these down to show you guys, this is in a plum paper. So the monthly kit, this is what it will look like in the fitting of it. Well, for the Erin Condra one to show you guys, it looks like this. So there's a little bit more of a border, but it does fit both the plum paper and the Erin Condra. All right, and last but not least, we have our design two for the monthly as well. And this is for the Erin Condra. We have the dashboard, the monthly. As usually, there's always four thin washies at the bottom. So if you wanted to line the monthly with that washi down here you can trade out which one you wanted to use i usually have a tendency to use the matching one and then put the second design on the side but of course there's two options for you to mix and match and then we have the date dots some payday scripts on here and this is the colorway which is definitely more muted as you guys can see so we have our bill due stickers we have our non spent color one color two color three and color four i'm like obsessed with this color four honestly i think that's that's gonna end up making me use this one for my monthly not gonna lie but i still don't know which one to use for my actual budget kit but yes so that is gonna be design two for august and that is for erin condren of course it is also available for the plum paper but now let's go ahead and get into the other things. I'm so excited for this. Uh, to be honest, I wasn't sure if I would be able to release these for this new releases because I was just having so many problems with production. But let me show you guys the new releases. You guys probably already have an idea since I just set up my binder with you guys too. But let's start off with the first one, which is the debt tracker. And this debt tracker is going to be a... Uh, is going to be a set of three and the first one is going to be this first insert which is debt tracker debt overview we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten different slots for ten different debts each one has like a little visual tracker for when you're paying it off you, when you pay off 25 percent 50 50 percent 75 percent and of course 100 percent you can color it all out there's the name of the debt, then the starting amount that you're starting with for that debt. For me, if it's like student loan, we'll put how much it is for that debt. Or if we're starting our debt, debt journey and we if we have a credit card debt or something, I'll put the starting amount of that credit card debt. 
the date we finally paid off that debt and then a total paid the reason why i have a total paid on here is because for us i really like to see how much we ended up paying in total to pay off that debt including all of the interest it accumulated of course if you don't want to know how much it was that you paid in total you can definitely just leave this blank but that's what each one looks like and there's a total of 10 on both sides at the very bottom there's a total debt amount started with so it's an accumulation of all the different debts so if you have three one 10 all of them added up will be the total debt starting amount the total debt paid in total after everything is finally paid off the started date so for me our our debt journey started june 2023 and then whenever it is that we finally finished paying off everything and i'll put the finished date here but that is what the first insert looks like the second insert is a balance tracker both sides look the same and as you guys can see all these inserts they're double-sided so I definitely wanted them to be double-sided to make sure I use up all the spacing for them. And these are not like envelopes or anything, they're just inserts and they are laminated. So you can use a dry erase marker. I know it's popular to use Sharpie markers, though I feel like these are a little bit harder to remove once they're like dried down for a while. But these are laminated so you can use over and over and over again. And they're not envelopes since I normally don't use cash because for us we just are accustomed to just using everything electronic but these are just what the inserts look like double-sided and then we have our balance tracker which is double-sided as well they're all made with very thick cardstock so this is essentially it's hard for like to show you guys but i, I guess that's as good i guess i can show you guys and they're laminated with five mil um, lamination pouches so they are very thick and sturdy but of course with that the production time takes quite a bit of time since it goes through printing and then cutting double-sided and then these how they get cut out and then after they're laminated they get cut out again to size and then i hole punch them and for, for whatever reason i keep hole punching them wrong which is the saddest part because that's like the last thing i need to be done with it but going off topic but this is the balance tracker you can have the both sides be for a different debt if you wanted to for me i'm actually using it for the overall amount i thought about using it for like one debt at a time and just keeping track of it that way but i i think i just wanted to use it for all of the debts and i'll show you guys an example in a second we have the creditor the month that you're in that you're whatever you're paying the starting balance of all the debts or the one debt however you want to use this how much you paid and then the ending amount for it so let me show you guys what those both look like real quick and this is also what it looks like in the a5 binder this is what the inserts are if you have like a zipper pouch this is like a good kind of reference point of what it'll look like side by side so that's what it looks like and then also for like insert papers this is kind of what it looks like right by like the insert paper. I don't know if you guys can see, but that's how wide they are. Anyway, so for that debt, first debt tracker, I have a lot of student loans. So we're starting off with my husband's. I do have a video setting all of these up as well in our debt confessions or um, budget setup for June. And then how much each debt is. And then our total, which is like over 26,000. This is the oops, that's why my line is down here, but as you guys can see, these ones are fixed versus mine. But I have it where, it's got smudged a little bit, but I have it where it's June 2023, we have the starting amounts, and then however much we paid for June, and then the end. But of course, you don't have to do it that way, it's just the way that we wanted to do it. The last tracker is our debt payoff tracker, and this is only one because I'm planning on paying off one debt at a time, just doing the one that has the highest interest. So I didn't want to have like accumulation of, how many debts do we have? For this one is eight debts. I didn't want to have eight of these sheets when I'm only focusing on one at a time. So I wanted to have it where it's a bundle with at least one of these. So you can put the creditor, the starting balance. So for us, we're doing 237 first, which is this one. We're paying off this one first. The APR is 4.8%. And each little credit card equals $11 because how many? One, two, three, four, five. 
So there's a total of 135 Icon credit cards on here. And then 135 times 11 equals $1,485. I know that the total balance for this is $1,494, but that just means my last little credit card would be like $10 more to pay it off. So that's kind of how I broke this down. But of course, um, in that video, I definitely talk about it a little bit more with you guys. But this is what the front and back looks like. So there's a bunch of icons. It says you can do it. And once I have this all colored in, I'm going to use a little alcohol wipe, wipe it all down, and then move on to my next debt that I want to focus on paying down. But that is what that third insert looks like. And that is what the trio looks like. For the debt trackers so i'm really really happy with how they came off and as you can see they're all kind of like cut to the shape of uh, the insert too but yes that is what the debt tracker looks like the next thing i wanted to talk to you guys about are my cash collect little inserts these are saving trackers i have them in three different colors i don't know why i just took them all out but i have a purple one and both of them look exactly this, like they're all the same but just One's in purple, one's in blue, and one's in pink. But let me just show you guys what this looks like. So we have the Cash Collect, and it's just a savings tracker. Of course, laminated again, same thick material, so you can use as many times as you want. There's two sides of it. The first side is for $1,000. So essentially, color one jar each time you finish. Complete five times equals 1000 so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So these two rows is 50, 75, 100, and then 125, 150, 175, and then $200. So as we save it and color it in, each time we finish this one time, we'll color in one jar, which is $200. Then I'm going to take a little alcohol pad again wipe this all out or do whatever to be honest maybe like i might maybe just draw a line through it with one color as i do it and then once i finish it one time maybe i'll draw another line this way with a different color and then draw one this way i don't really know i mean maybe, maybe we'll get a little creative with this but we're gonna be doing this together on camera so we'll see what we end up doing with this but essentially 200 400 600 800 1000 dollars after you complete this five times so right now if we save 15 dollars, we'll color in three of them if we're able to save the full 200 then i'll probably just color in one jar entirely and then start from the beginning and then we see able to save 100. I'll go ahead and color all of this in. So it's kind of like that. So as you go, it's 1,000. On the back side, it's doubled up. So this side is 2,000. Each one is $10 instead. So it's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Then 100, 150, 200. And then 300 and 400. So each one is 400, 800, 1,200, 1,600 and then 2000 so essentially if both sides are completed with all jars colored in that will be three thousand dollars saved yeah so that is what this cash collect insert looks like so there's three different colors for it pink blue and purple but that is also releasing as well and i plan on using this to help me finish out my emergency funds just because i think i'm only missing like three thousand or something like that yeah, so that is those inserts so far. And then, of course, last but not least, we have our dream home inserts. These are the ones that we set up together for us to start saving for a home. I also set this up with you guys on camera to save for a home. We are in our first home, and this is our home estimate for our forever home that we plan on saving for. We have been looking for different areas to see if we can, like... Maybe choose a different area where the house where the homes are not as expensive because the more I think about it, the more I'm just like, this is so much like do I want to be in debt for the rest of my life? But especially because our financial picture is not like our income is crazy amounts of money right now. 
getting off topic again but essentially this is what the inserts look like so let's actually go through them so these inserts you can definitely use for your first home second home third home fourth home whichever home um i just wanted to have something to track savings because saving for a house is such a huge investment and it's such a huge chunk of money i wanted to have a multiple different sections to kind of plan out and think about how much we'll need for everything so we have our first section here and uh, this is what it looks like packed up but i'm not gonna take it out because i already tied it and everything but we have our dream home section one is the down payment so whatever down payment is calculated depending on how much the value of the home is three percent five percent ten percent or whatever it is that is going to be section one and section one will have the icons same thing as usually after you have counted up all the icons you can just divide it by whatever amount you're planning on saving so for us we're trying to save a little over forty five thousand dollars so each little icon equals two hundred and seventy eight dollars it is quite the bit but again we're not planning on moving for like five years or more so we're probably going to revisit this every single year to see if we change our minds of where we want to move to as well and maybe the home values will go back down because the housing market really right now is pretty high but the section two is for furnishing the home so for us we don't really have an idea yet of for how much we want to save to furnish the home because we don't really know what our furniture is going to be like in five years and how much we have to replace but when that time comes when we're closer to like actually looking for a house we'll probably have an idea of how much we want to save and what type of furniture we want to purchase but that is for furnishing the home then we have section three which is moving expenses for us we're definitely going to hire movers because our first two apartments that we were in, we moved by ourselves, and even moving into this house, we moved by ourselves. But we did look up how much movers were, and I feel like movers, they're kind of expensive. So we wanted to make sure we had that basis covered. We're actually already starting to like accumulate our Amazon boxes so we can use those to move whenever it is a time comes. We are planning on saving fi around $1,500 for movers since the area that we want to move to is like quite a bit of time away so i know that that also goes into the cost of things for the movers time to use their truck for gas things like that so that's moving expenses section four is for first month's cushion so when we moved into this home we had an like estimates of how much things would be like even for our utilities I, I didn't really know how much things would actually cost but we did save up like our first month's funds essentially for like our mortgage for utilities and we just wanted to make sure that we had bases covered so we weren't like scrambling around during our first month of living here so i plan on doing the same thing for the first month's cushion for our forever home um, right now i have nothing in here because i have no idea if this is actually the value we're gonna go for in a few years or what the market lo will look like what interests will look like then or how much things will be then this is really just for me to get started because this is a long-term thing and our goal date i should probably fill it in it's not going to be for like another five to seven years we're thinking We'll see how it goes, but that is for section four. Section five is current home last month. So for current home last month, for us, when we were in apartments, we always had to break the lease for whatever reason because <laughs> the timing that we would have to move was always inconvenient. So we'd always have to save up to break lease along with like the partial payments of our last month in that apartment or wherever we were and also like the last utility bills that we had to pay for so i wanted to always have money to cover our last month for our apartment but since we're in a home currently we want to make sure we have some funds saved up for our house i've of course never sold a house before so i have no idea how the process is or how it looks like but i do know that there are chances that you might have to pay double mortgage on the home you're trying to sell along with the home that you've moved into so i want to save up some money for like six months of mortgage just in case we're stuck in a situation like that i i really hope that we're not because i feel like i want to stress out so much but i feel like this will at least be a little bit more comforting 
So that is what section five looks like for current home last month. So of course for rent, it could be for your last month's rent, for breaking lease, or for us, for our example, it's gonna be for our mortgage in case it takes longer to sell our home. Section six is for unexpected. So for unexpected is just really the unexpected, unbudgeted, kind of like a cushion because we really don't like touching our savings. So I rather have like a small cushion in here, which is a little over 3000 for other categories to pull from. So if I didn't, I didn't have enough in a different category like moving expenses or for furnishing our home or something i can always pull from the unexpected category to cover that instead of touching our savings so that is for unexpected and of course if we don't use it that is amazing that's just extra money that we're able to save but then we have section seven and section eight these are left blank and these are left blank on all of them so it can be kind of customized to each person's preference. Of course, for us, I don't think we're going to be doing like home renovations or anything like that, but that could be one if you wanted to do home renovations or if you wanted to save specifically for, I don't know what my obsession is with a fence, but for a fence, for example, if that house doesn't have a fence or if you wanted to save for new pots and pans, dishware or for a washer dryer like specific things if you wanted to that is what these sections are here for i don't have any idea what these are because for us we'll have to kind of get a better idea of the house that we're moving into to see what it's missing to be able to fill this in but i have these two sections here to at least down the road when we do know what they should be i can fill them in in section 7 and section 8, there is a section here you can write with a sharpie marker or a dry erase marker and write what it's for at the very top of both and it's on the back too to write it too and uh, that front also you could just write it as well. So in total there is 8 sections plus the top is 9 inserts and then we have our savings goal for the total combined amount with everything added together is the savings goal. The home estimate that we're looking for is around 900000 This is just our dream home, the home that we will love to raise our kids in and live in for the rest of our life because the area we want to move into, it's just a, it's such a nice area. The school districts and everything is just really good. We'll have to see if this stays the way it is. It's just really good to just get started and start brainstorming of what we want and what we don't want in a home. And then we have the goal date on the back of this. It just says feels good to be home because you're saving for your home. It's, it's going to be something really special. So I just wanted to have a little really cute little cozy motivator back here to keep us going. And then each section of these, you guys will see that there is each for each little icon, how much it means, and then also a goal. If it was easier to break down one side over the next than I have it on both sides. But of course, you can definitely choose to ignore one or just write the same thing on both sides. But there's different options here <laughs> for filling these out. But that is what the last section looks like. And just to give you guys like measurements as well, this is like, let me use a centimeter. This is around 98 millimeters wide okay my centimeter thing is not wide long enough but the length is around 6.8 inches long yeah that looks about right i'll have the exact measurements in the listing but that is kind of what it looks like side by side and these again are inserts they do not fit because they're like they're kind of like sheet sizes right like they don't fit inside of they're not going to fit inside of the zipper pouches so this is what it looks like side by side with a zipper pouch so it does peek through and then my cash envelopes are tabbed as well and they also peek through too because i really like the look of it i always know which one's which and then that is really it for this video but i guess real quick though because i did promise that i would talk about this binder in a new releases video these are not in shop yet and they i don't know when i plan on releasing these but this is a custom binder for my shop the material is a very high quality leather it's very very soft and it is a um a a6 
binder and this is what the inserts look like inside as well so opened up of course it is a button it is rose gold um i do have a blue one too but i think i mentioned that there have been problems with the blue one so i'm currently starting with the pink one but there are some pockets in here one two three four five pockets with a long pocket on the side and then there is a zipper pocket here I don't know what would be put in here honestly but I did like the fact that there was a zipper pocket and I wanted to make sure that there was a zipper pocket for things like important receipts or important things you wanted to stuff in here and it's safe and secured being zippered there's another pocket on the side as well for any type of stickers papers we have the rings the rings is three centimeters wide it is a very wide compared to kind of like the, I feel like the, the average one I feel like is usually like I don't really know the sizing but I just know that this is three centimeters and I personally really needed a bigger ring because of how many inserts I'm using and planning on using but that is rose gold as well then the back part we have a, another pocket for more papers receipts or whatever and we have a pen loop I have my debossed logo of my olive blue. You guys might hear people mowing their lawn in the background, but <laughs> and then we have the last pocket. This pocket is normally all the way at the top for like a, a pad or set um, something, but I really wanted this to be more functional for me since I always use stickers. I wanted to have like a quick, easy pocket to put some stickers in. Like, I don't know, if I wanted to use stickers on a line, like they fit stickers very easily in here. So this is what that pocket, bottom pocket looks like, but that is what the binder looks like as well. And yeah, so that is actually going to be it for this video. As always, the stickers will be 15% off from Friday, the, the new releases day up until Sunday. And then um, those are made to order. I am working on towards being more of a uh, ready to ship shop. I think maybe next month or the following month I'm going to be working on that for stickers. As for everything else in the shop, it is by stock only. So all of these, there is limited stock of each one for the savings challenges, the depth tracker, and the dream home. There is limited stock of them and I probably won't be able to restock these for... I think I'll only be able to restock them maybe once a month or once every other month because of just these do take quite a bit of time to produce um, and there's so much steps that they're prone to a lot of errors and then once there's one error then the whole thing is just so that's kind of why I'm only able to stock these once a month or once every other month. But that is actually going to be it for this new releases. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I do apologize that it was just... This video has was supposed to go up on like Tuesday, but it was not going to be able to make it up until like Thursday now at this point. It's okay. At least we're getting it filmed. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so, so, so much as always for tuning in. I hope that you guys have an amazing day and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Bye!